Okay guys, new review, new re-review, um, on the Biohazard, uh, Hot Toys, Leon, figure. This is, um, Biohazard 4, so, um, this is the original costume. Also, this is the non-American version, this is the, the ones the foreign people got. Um, this is what I got. This is one you can get, the RPD one for Resident Evil 2. But he doesn't have he doesn't look younger than he did that, that like he did in Resident Evil 2. So um yeah. So today's review is gonna be on the original. You can get the chainsaw Granado, just to focus. It's got a glare on the box. Jack Krauser and the Jack Krauser normal one. Um says don't choke on your Leon. And um yeah, video game masterpiece. So I'm gonna try and do this the best I can. It has a flap here. The only thing is I got this used because it was too expensive to get it new and the person had it before fucked it up. Tried to pull in this for no reason. So Pull the magnet, opens up, you've got the uh, village, you've got his weapons and other accessories. Radio, radio flashlight, grenade, his knife, Krauser's knife, riot gun, even though that should be a semi-auto, um, he pumps it in the game. Um, hunting rifle, Matilda, was that the right name, Matilda? It's the VP-70. Uh, but with the stock on it, which is annoying because you can't remove it. I think they call it Matilda in the game. The uh, Silver Ghost, the that's supposed to be the XD, but they put a Glock in there instead because they're idiots. Red 9, Marvel C96, Broken Butterfly, I think it's called, because I don't know. Fuck it. And then Leon. And I, and I, I put all this back in, by the way. And it's in the right box. I mean, hot toys, hot toys always do good boxes. Alright, uh, I put all this back in the box to do the review again. Because I, I did a review ages ago, it wasn't as good. Slide this off. You slide this off. There's all the twist ties. Here's Leon. The annoying thing is that the cat got hold of the jacket uh, when I had it posed and he fucking ripped it. Which is annoying because I can't find any on eBay at the moment. Look at that shit. Annoyed the fuck out of me. Because it's expensive. Very expensive. If we can focus on a face, we're good. Come on, camera. Focus is usually. Come on, facial detection. Come on, that is ridiculous. Oh, is it doing it? No. That's bullshit. Can I put the light on slowly? No. Anyway, you can see the face detail is very nice. Looks proper real. Um, so, this camera does not want to focus anymore. So let's display him. Okay, so I put it on the stand. It doesn't fit on it very well. Um, I could put it on there more, but I'm really tired at the moment. So I, I really don't want to like mess around with it that much. These, I, what annoys me about hot toys is they're so expensive, and I don't think they're worth as much as they, they say they are. Anyway, it comes with a little backpack, so it doesn't stand up very well. Um, even with the stand, because it's on a bed, to be fair. Anyway, little pack that you put on the back. It keeps falling off because it's got these hooks. So I usually just keep it in this display. You have to take the jacket off and you put this on. It's the sling for the holster and two magazines which you can't actually put in there. 
nice thing, it comes with a typewriter, but I guess what else could they get what else could they really put in there? Um but it would be cool if they made some actual, you know, Ganados, not just the chainsaw Ganado. Anyway. Um it's so a big piece of plastic is detailed and you little rotate the uh the paper feed and I I have feed I have fed paper for this, it works fine. So yeah, it doesn't do anything else I believe, but nice cool typewriter. I think that's a lot different from the ones in the original games. Um, now I I like the typewriter because it symbolises Resident Evil. If you only played Resident Evil 4, you're thinking, oh these are cool. No, they're in all the Resident Evil games. I don't even know if they're in Resident Evil 5. I know they weren't in Resident Evil 6. Disappointment. Of course Resident Evil 6 isn't even Resident Evil in my opinion. Anyway. So, as you can see, this is what happens. Um, when I got mine, it was taped here, and it doesn't even fit in there very well. It sort of slides out. It's a nice stand, though. I know they just come out of an Ada figure, which is like five, six years late. Um, it looks cool, though. It comes with a grappling gun and everything. Um, the posability is amazing on this figure. I just like took like five seconds to adjust it so you can fit on the, the bed. Now it has like a double joint knees, let's go out in, up and down, back, um, has feet rotation and bending and weird stuff. It has changeable hands I think. Does it have changeable hands? I don't know, it doesn't have changeable hands. You can pull the hands out to take the jacket off. Now I like this original look um, from Resident Evil 4. I did like the game but it sort of went downhill after Resident Evil 3. Um, it is cool though. Um, I believe one of the uh, elbow patches has just actually come off a while ago. The only trouble is, is what I showed you is that little cut on the back because of the cat. I found him like with his paw on top of it. And this is the older cat, the one that's really old. Um, so it really annoyed me but luckily you don't really see it because you're not looking at the back. Um, the only thing is, is this because it's so old, the joints are really old, so like you can see it sort of falling back. The uh, the waist joint here is actually really sort of messed up. To be honest, it doesn't it doesn't pose as well as anymore. When I got it, all it was all displayed in the package, um, and I had to put the leg holster on, I think, and the belt on. It was really annoying that was because it's not very nice. It's not very good quality, but. Um, this leg also becomes loose because of the clips are that small, so yeah. Um, you can put his main gun in there, and if you take the jacket off, you can put his gun in there, and you can even open these pockets up, put another gun in there, uh, and then carry one of his his main guns. So let's have a look at the guns. So on the, when you originally get this, you have tape around it. You just peel the tape off. I didn't have the tape on because I got it used. You peel this off of course and you've got to be careful when you take these out because um, especially like the knives and things it's like the package is designed to clamp around them so you know when you you want to be careful when you get it out. Uh, the grenade falls out pretty easily. So the bolt action rifle so it's not a bad detail um, Mine actually goes, you know, up and back. There are people that said they cut theirs can't go back. It may have been glued shut. And I think one of them said you can take the magazine out. Mine, you can't do that. I've tried, and it doesn't even look like a separate piece. So bullshit. Scope doesn't really work, but it looks realistic with a like fake glass in there. It's cool. I think it's hollow even. I don't know. The right gun, I think it's based on the Benelli, one of them anyway, one of the Benellis, Benelli M2 maybe, Benelli M1. Um, on the game he pumps it, which is weird, and in actual fact, it's supposed to be semi-auto, uh, and you know, you poof, 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 instead of having to poof, ch -ch -poof. Um, I do have fake shotgun shells, and you can put one in there, you can't actually put it in the chamber or anything. Um, and it, it actually falls deep inside and doesn't actually go like directly in. 
also I believe that's broken off, um, I don't know how. Uh, but you can actually load a shell in there and look like it's jammed or something. Uh, the stock is okay, the trouble is it doesn't really stay, like, you know, look at that. Um, I don't know if that's slightly come apart. I don't know. Um, which is why I don't like posing them really, because you can't really pose them with it. Because it doesn't stay in. It's really annoying. But you know, you can hold it with a stock close, it's fine. Now if you keep coming to power, I really want to own one of these. It's the VP70. The VP70Z would be the civilian model, you can't upgrade it. This is the other version. You can take the magazine out on this one. You can't pull the slide back, but you take the magazine out. And the annoying thing is you can't take the stock off it when it didn't even originally come like that in the Resident Evil 2. I have seen it on on a Google image of that, not on it, but I think they just snapped it off. Whoa, gun shot off. I'm trying to get these out of the package, hold on. Okay, so the knives are just knives really, but they're nicely detailed, they're not, you know, they're not really nicely detailed, they look nice for knives. You see how tiny this one is really. This radio is pretty special, it's not just a piece of plastic, you can open it up. Um, you're thinking, is that it? No. It's really cool. I don't even think it's a focus, but I'll try it. Okay, so that almost focuses, but the Leon face doesn't focus. There you go, you can see it focus now. You see, it's a bit, for some reason it looks dusty, but it's not. It's probably because it, it records in 720p, it looks dusty. But, um, it's not bad quality images of Leon and Honeygun. So, that's pretty cool. What's that on there? You see a little writing on there? young people, is that what it says? It's not very clear, anyway. Next thing. Mouse the broom handle, with removable magazine. The Glock, which is supposed to be the Springfield XD, with a slide that moves back, not very much. The flashlight that comes off, and I blue tacked it in because it doesn't stay on. And a removable magazine. Flashlight. The uh, revolver that could take the uh, cylinder out and pull the hammer back. Silver ghost could pull the slide back, take the magazine out. Okay, so there you go. Now, I don't know what the hell that is. It's like shiny. It's weird. Anyway, I pose, put a gun in his hand, just fall over. Put the uh, Glock in there. I had to take the uh, flashlight off though, because it wouldn't fit. Um, I I do like this. Um, I sound a bit down. Maybe it's just because I'm tired. But I just think, you know, I think these are overpriced. Now, they have good articulation and all that. but And, you know, the face looks detailed and everything. But, you know, I just think it's slightly overpriced. Especially the newer ones. And um, a lot of it's very cheaply made and it annoys me. Especially when you pay, some people pay like a grand, two grand even sometimes. I wouldn't pay that, but I don't even know how much I paid for this. Uh, I can't remember. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, it's a nice figure. I recommend it if you've got the money. Um, I usually just keep it displayed. Um, I do like Resident Evil 4, I like the older ones though. I prefer to have uh, Hot Toys, you know, Jill from Resident Evil 3 maybe. I probably would have got that instead of this one, but yeah. Um, I, w I really want to get some other like things like the Desert Eagle from Resident Evil 2, the actual S off gun, loads of other guns, revolvers, summary edges, and all that, but I just haven't got the money. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm not working yet because I'm not old enough. <laughs> I've got a college interview tomorrow, so that's going to be good. Anyway, good. Anyway. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Alright, it's a 4 out of 5. Um, yeah, also the jacket's nicely made. You can't zip it up though.
Where the fuck are my hands? Oh, I'm joking. Anyway, yeah. Um, nice, nice, nice made jacket. Let's just show you the body thing. Um, pretty cool. That's how it was from the game. Easy to display things of it, and the it's quite stretchy and it moves with the body. Good articulation. Yeah, many poses.